AMD has finally done it, something that no one thought possible. But before I get to that, we have some amazing deals and AMD is killing it right now. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, the annual Fantastech sales event is going on right now. And I'm talking huge savings, up to 66% off components and storage, up to 66% off computer systems, up to 82% off gaming and VR, 53% off electronics. Like I said, really big. If you haven't checked this out, you definitely want to do that and fast. Specifically, I'll have links to the general sale and some of my favorite deals, which I'll go over in just a second down in in the description below. Those are affiliate links, so they don't cost you a penny more, but they help the channel out. So starting things off, if you've been contemplating purchasing an Intel CPU, now is the best time to do it. We all know that these aren't the absolute best when it comes to gaming, but they definitely can be very impressive when it comes to multi-threaded applications, more professional applications, stuff like that. And as of right now, it looks like it's not that big of a deal because we're talking just $10 from the original $539.99 price, but Intel's Core Ultra 9 to 85K also gets $40 off with this promo code. Now, if you're not wanting to spend that kind of money, you can get the 265K for $50 off with this promo code. Of course, you might not need a new CPU. Instead, maybe you want to upgrade your memory, maybe get more memory like with this G-Skill Trident Z5 Neo, this is RGB memory, 64 gigs of DDR5-6000, you now can get $37 off with this promo code. But what if you just bought a new GPU and you found out that your PSU can't power it, given the fact that especially the higher-end RTX 5000 cards suck power like there's no tomorrow. Well, don't worry there either, because Be Quiet's Pure Power 12M 1000 Watt ATX 3.0 power supply is currently $60 off. You can see that this is, like I said, PCI Express 5.0, it's also fully modular. It was already at a great deal at $179.90, now it's $60 off that. But what if you already have all of your stuff and you just need a new monitor? Well, talk about a really great deal here. We have an ASRock Phantom Gaming Monitor. This is 27 inches. Yeah, it's just full HD, but it's 280 hertz for just 115 bucks. That's $75 off its original price. And while currently Amazon is not having their Prime Day event, that's technically tomorrow, there is an early deal with the 7800X3D on sale for just $359. So like I said, all of these deals are down in the description below. And let me know what your favorite deal is down in the comments below. And next up for today, if you remember not too long ago, AMD's CEO made a pretty wild claim about their new, at the time, RX 9070 XT. According to her, their 9070 XT, quote, has been a fantastic success. Actually, it's been the number one selling for all of the AMD Radeon generations for first week of sales by far, 10 times higher than previous generations. Yeah, that's... 10 times. A pretty bold claim, to say the least. Of course, she was only talking about the first week of sales, but that's still very impressive. The question is, did that hold up? Or was it just a fluke early on? Especially with the absurd pricing of AMD's RX 9070 XT today. Don't forget that this was supposed to have an MSRP of $599, not $740, $670, all of that. Well, Hardware Unboxed recently tried to answer that question during their recent Q&A video. And according to their information from Australian retailers, it looks like these cards are still selling like hotcakes. So, so to give you a few quotes from the video, this one right here, it says, Retailer told me that in the last six months, they've sold just over 200% more 9070 XTs than the 5070 Ti. <gasps> and in the last 30 days, they've sold roughly double the Radeon GPU, so 9070 XT over 5070 Ti. Here in Australia, speaking with a few different people, 9070 XT has heavily outsold 5070 Ti. 
Then they state, to date, the Australian retailers have sold twice as many, so 100% more 9070 XT series GPUs than they have the 5060 Ti. So 9060 XT has been way more popular than 5060 Ti in Australia. Finally, the 9070 versus 5070 comparison is more wishy-washy because they use the 5070 Ti in a lot of system integration stuff. But even taking that into account, they have sold 70% more 9070 non-XT over 5070. In the last three months, they noted that 5070s have started to come back. In the last 30 days, for example, the 9070 has sold 20% better. Still very, very nice for AMD. Now, overall, they claim that RTX 50 series cards have accounted for 56% of all sales, while the 9000 series cards hold a 44% share. With that said, things still can change. Don't forget that Nvidia is supposed to be releasing RTX 50 series super cards before too long, at least according to leaks. And if that does end up happening, depending on how well priced or performance is, that could seriously hamper RX 9000 series sales, but ultimately, as of right now, AMD is seriously killing it. And lastly for today, AMD just did the impossible. The first crack has been made. The King's armor is split. Nvidia's near absolute monopoly has been broken. I really don't think people understand the significance of what just happened. I mean, this even has implications for gaming GPUs. But what am I talking about? Well, the news involves quite possibly the biggest player in the industry. I'm talking about OpenAI and a brand new multi-billion dollar deal that was just struck between them and AMD. Those of you likely already know that OpenAI is the creator of ChatGPT, quite possibly the most popular AI chatbot out there. And AMD just announced a quote, multi-year, multi-generation strategic partnership with OpenAI that puts AMD Compute at the center of the global AI infrastructure build-out. Now, this may sound like typical marketing speak, an exaggeration of what really happened, but I honestly don't think it is. Because when we look at the actual deal, we see how big this truly is. For one, it's in regards to AMD's upcoming MI450 accelerator, one that AMD has been bragging about out for a little while now. Remember, they called it their no asterisk generation, meaning there isn't a caveat here. This is it. It's set to beat it all. And it's not made to go against NVIDIA's current generation Blackwell Accelerator. No, it's made for their next gen Rubin architecture. To give you an idea of how good this is, leaks seem to suggest that NVIDIA is literally making their next gen accelerator better so they can compete. And apparently this isn't all talk because it involves a purchase of tens of billions of dollars of chips from AMD to help power OpenAI's next generation infrastructure. I'm talking six gigawatts of GPU capacity with one gigawatt of their MI450 in the second half of 2026 alone. And the estimate to bring one gigawatt online is roughly $50 billion with two thirds of that spent on chips. And they're talking about six gigawatts. This is actually such a big deal that it could end up giving OpenAI up to a 10% stake in AMD, meaning they would own part of AMD. This has had such a big impact that AMD's stock is up over 25%. And it's absolute proof that Nvidia's stranglehold on the market is over. But not only that, it's also further proof that AMD's next-gen gaming GPUs really could be the massive jump in performance that we've seen leaked, because the MI450 is set to be based on the same uDNA architecture as their next-gen gaming cards. So we truly could see AMD beat out NVIDIA in more ways than one. With that said, while all of this is great news, it's nothing against NVIDIA. I would never hope for AMD to have a monopoly or Intel or literally anyone, because competition is the driving force of all of this, of technology, of innovation, everything. Then again, none of this may matter in the next few years as AI wipes us all out. 